welcome back to a continuation of the series on refuting the claim that the Quran has uh, scientific miracles in it. I am Al-Fadi and with me here in studio uh, to join me in this uh, rebuttal and uh, to debunk, if you wish, these claims is my dear brother, uh, Dr. Jay Smith. Uh, Dr. Jay, uh, we've been talking about uh, these uh, claims that our Muslim friends bring uh, over and over again that the Quran supposedly is a scientific book and the reason why they do this, of course, is to prove that uh, it has a divine origin. So far, you know, we have looked at a handful of those and we were able not only to debunk this idea but even discover more scientific errors in them. And today, we're going to look at another one. Isn't that interesting? It's fascinating to me that every time we went into look and see whether or not this is a proof or a miracle, as we read it, we were aghast to find that in almost every case, it was not a scientific proof or a scientific miracle. It was actually a scientific error. That's right. We didn't intend to do that. That was not our intention when we started out on this. Uh, but this came up in the debate a few weeks ago. It's now coming up as we go through this series. So let's go to this one here. And this is a claim which is, to me, is absolutely ridiculous. It's in chapter 79, verse 30. And this says the earth is egg-shaped. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say I that I mean, at all. the claim that we're, we're no, going after. No, the it. claim does. Okay. And I'll show you yeah. why then. And this yeah. is Now, I have not shown you this yet in Arabic. I want you, as an Arabist, to listen as to why they are making this claim. Let's first look and see what the verse says. Very good. And the verse says, and after that, he, that's Allah, spread the earth. Okay? Right. Now, the word they're looking for, and as what they're saying is that the word he made the earth egg-shaped rather than spread. He didn't spread the earth, but he made it egg-shaped. Egg Bahaha. Okay. Dahaha. Right. They claim the word dahaha, which is in the Arabic, that this means laid out or evened out. That's what we've always thought. It laid right. out or evened out, spread out, all the rest. That's right. But they say it's derived from the Arabic word duhia. Duhia, which means ostrich egg. Now, I want you to read right here. I'm going to give you the text in Arabic. Now, that's the Quranic text right there. What is the word that is there? And we're talking about verse 30. Verse yes. 30. Wa'akhraja uh, duhaha. Okay, so that's, that's the word. The last word? Dohaha. Dohaha. So, right. Dohaha. There you can see, is yeah. that duhiya? No. And uh, Dohaha, that mean Daha, basically, is the root. So, Daha, there's not a yah in there to begin there with. There is no yah. So, they've in got there. the wrong consonant, and uh, they replaced it with the wrong consonant to try to impose on it the idea of ostrich age. The reason why this is why they're saying this is just they have found that in just the last 10 years, uh, there have been scientists here on Earth who said the Earth is not really completely round. It's a little bit, it's a little bit what they call it is a prolate ster, uh, spheroid or an oblate spheroid. Oblate spheroid means it's not quite round. It's a little bit of a bulge at one end. Yeah. And while you're uh, uh, elaborating this, I'm going to go to a commentary real quickly to see what they're saying about it. You know, What's fascinating, the, the commentaries won't know anything about it because this has only been done in the last 10 years. What the M Muslim scholars are trying to say is, aha, so duhiya, which is not duhaha, it's duhiya, a completely different consonant, is the word for ostrich egg. That for there were they're going they're trying to impose it into this verse and say see the Quran knew about this, but you oblate know, the, spheroid. The commentators would have known about that, you know ostriches are not invented. See if you can find it. But while you're looking for it, I'm yeah. going to continue this. What is an ostrichate? It is not a oblate spheroid. It is a polate spheroid. So they've even got that wrong. Even if they wanted to put an ostrichate into that, they're going to have to. They've got to got the wrong spheroid. So they're mixing up two. They're mixing the two up. And you can see this is desperation, trying to impose on the Arabic what is not there. Have you found anything in in the uh, commentary? Here, well, and uh, I'm looking uh, to what some of the commentators are are saying about this. Um, uh, so uh, they're saying, um, 
I mean, summa dahar ba'dayk faqa, you know, there, there is no explanation yet for the word itself because I'm trying to say what exactly these guys understood. But keep going. But you're not going to find it because those are commentators yeah. that are much more, much older than before the fact that they found that there was, that the earth is now not quite as round. But let's continue on. Let's look and see what it does say. It says very clearly, and after that, he spread the earth. Spread means flat, right? Yeah, and here is, here is what Ibn Abbas, by the way, is saying. Dahaha, meaning he put the mountains to stabilize it. Which is not even in the, this verse. It's not even That comes close. from 3110. That's right. Chapter yeah. 31, verse 10. So he's yeah. imposing from 3110 on to 7930. That's right. But is he going to do that also uh, with chapter 50, verse 7, and chapter 51, verse 48, we'll and look at it. chapter 71, verse 19? Because those three all say that the earth is spread. And in fact, it is spread out as if a flat, it is a flat earth concept. concept. Right. Let me go one, even one step further. If, if you look at chapter tw 20, verse 53, <coughs> and chapter 78, verse 6, it says that the earth has been created like a bed. Now, are beds spheroids? Not any bed I've ever no, slept on. No, are they flat? They will be flat. Beds I mean, are flat, otherwise saying, they're not very comfortable, yeah, are he's they? He's saying, basatnaha, meaning like uh, made it flat. Flat so in, in every basically. one of these verses, it talks about flatness, about like a bed shape, nothing about a spheroid. Now I'm going to go one step further and show you even another problem, and that is in chapter 43, verse 10, which says the earth has been created like a bed and that Allah creates roads for men to walk on it. That's right. When Allah or when God created the earth, did he create roads as well? Uh. <laughs> Who created the roads? The, the, the Romans. The Romans were the first to create roads that we know of. In fact, when did the Romans exist? Not till the second century BC. That's right, yeah. Can you see even this is an error? So I wasn't even expecting this until I read it. But when you look at all these references, chapter 79, verse 30, chapter 20, verse 53, chapter 78, verse 6, chapter 50, verse 7, chapter 51, verse 48, chapter 71, verse 19, you see it goes on and on and on. These are flat. These are bed-like. This is nothing other way. There's no other way that I can tra uh, translate these. And to try to say that this is a spheroid, they're even changing the Arabic. They're taking Doha. Dohaha, and they're putting it to Duhiya, which is not even the same consonants. That's right, that's right. They're doing the same thing that they used to do, remember, with and, the Hebrew. And Ibn Abbas is extremely important because he was the cousin of Muhammad. So he would have understood if there is an egg-shaped uh, involved here. In his mind, it's always been flat, and he always uses the idea that mountains are there to stabilize it. Can you see that, as we have said here, it's very clear that the Quran sees as a flat earth. There is a society here in America called Flat. this is an observation, flat, right? This you know? is the Flat Earth Society. They really need to come back to the Quran because they're going to get their support in just those verses I read. Interestingly, when we get to the Bible, we're going to find the other thing. The Bible is not a flat earth concept. Wait till we get to the biblical context because Amen. we're going to do that in yet another episode. Amen, brother. Well, thank you so much. And hopefully everybody's been enjoying this series and we encourage you really to use it. And that's why we did it one video at the time, even though some of them are very short, but that's intentional. We want you when you Google it or search it, you'll find just that topic uh, being addressed. And uh, hopefully if you're a Muslim watching this, please interact with me and Jay. We welcome your questions and comments and even if you have a way to try to refute what we're saying, share with us your thoughts and your logic, why you think what the Quran is saying is correct and what we are trying to do here and explain it is inaccurate. Until we meet again, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International and together we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.